With the reincarnation of the cooperative society movement in the country, Cooperative Bank has been the greatest beneficiary, and this has not only seen an increased borrowing client base for the bank locally, but also those involved in dollar business. And this, this funding will be very critical for us as a bank in, our, in supporting our, our dollar lending programs, uh, particularly uh, for our customers in, in SME customers, small and micro enterprises, uh, corporate banking and uh, agribusiness customers. The signing of the deal therefore couldn't have come at a better time and comes a few months after the bank signed a 7.5 billion Kenya shillings fund from European Investment Bank to support microfinance and SMEs. So for us, we are not going to look for the customers. The customers are actually with us. The customers are already in the bank and the demand has been there for foreign currency uh, facilities. We were not able to absorb that or to meet the entire need with the foreign currency that we had. So the boost of 60 million US dollars is, 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 is very good coming in from IFC. According to the Cooperative Bank Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Gideon Morioki, the bank is highly committed to support SMEs in enhancing easy access to financial facilities. He therefore calls on SMEs who are particularly in agribusiness and entirely transact their business using the dollar to seize the opportunity. Uh, critical focus will be on customers who borrow in foreign currency. Uh, and uh, for customers who have a foreign currency based income base in order to be able to hedge on the foreign exchange risk. According to Dr. Morioki, the interest rate on this loan is friendly. Uh, US dollar lending is good for customers who have a dollar income because if you don't have a dollar income and uh, there's a fluctuation in the, in, the, in the exchange rate, you can be exposed. Mm -hmm. So though the rates are low on US dollar borrowing, it's ideal for customers who have a US dollar income so that you don't expose yourself to uh, foreign exchange fluctuations. The IFC's East and Southern African Director also pointed the Development Bank's intention to work with organizations that focuses to support SMEs. Although SMEs may be small, they have a very large impact on the economy. They are known to be the biggest providers of jobs by far. And as many of you know, getting access to finance is a lifeline for small businesses. IFC partners with banks such as COP Bank to help them sustainably and profitably increase business with smaller businesses uh, in the continent. Cooperative Bank also revealed their regional expansion progress praising their venture in South Sudan as successful.